Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the lymphatic system. If you forget about cleaning the house like what your parents told you to, then cockroaches and rats might love to live inside. Seems icky, isn't it? Like our houses, our bodies also have some cleaners in them, and they're really hardworking too. Let's dive in to find out more. So what is lymphatic system? You might hate cleaning, but your lymphatic system loves it. It is a network of vessels and body parts that collect fluids that leak out of your cells and blood. These fluids are called lymph fluids, and yes, you have leaks without you knowing. Your body is actually more water than you can imagine. In fact, it's more than 60% water. Most of them are found in your cells and blood, but some gets out. And what gets out is swept by your lymphatic system and returns it to your bloodstream. Otherwise, the fluid would build up in your body tissues and you would swell up like a balloon. Lymphatic system is composed of the lymph tissues. The major parts of the lymph tissue are located in the bone marrow, spleen, thymus gland, lymph nodes, tonsils. The heart, lungs, intestines, liver, and skin also contain lymphatic tissue. Fun fact learners, did you know that you are the pump for your lymphatic system? Unlike your blood which has the heart to pump it through your body, your lymphatic fluid doesn't have a pump. Instead, it relies upon gravity and pressure, when you create when you move around, as well as light massage. So better move around often or you'll get sick. The bone marrow is responsible for creating new cells. We've heard things about the spleen, but what is it really? Basically, the spleen helps protect the body by clearing worn out or old red blood cells. In other words, the spleen acts as a filter. It weeds out old and damaged cells, then it helps control the amount of blood and blood cells that flow through your body. They're like the janitors and gardeners in our school. The spleen is located in the upper left of the belly under the rib cage. It is made up of a network of lymphatic vessels that carry lymph throughout the body. Lymph is a clear, watery fluid that contains proteins, salts, and other substances. Did you know that you can live without your spleen? In some cases like injury or disease, a splenectomy or removal of the spleen is done. Our bodies are so versatile that the spleen's work can be picked up by the liver and bone marrow. But don't be overconfident because when infections attack, it's gonna be a tough one. The spleen also helps get rid of germs. It contains white blood cells called lymphocytes and macrophages. These cells work to attack and destroy germs and remove from the blood that passes through the spleen. White blood cells are like the police or even the army in your body. They are the real heroes in fighting the disease and infections. Those germs are filtered out in the lymph nodes. Inside the lymph nodes, lymphocytes called T cells and B cells help the body fight infection. B cells mostly make antibodies that stop infections from spreading by trapping disease causing germs and destroying them. Most of our lymph nodes are in clusters in the neck, armpit, and groin area. When a person has an infection, germs collect in the lymph nodes. If the throat is infected, for example, the lymph nodes in the neck may swell. That's why doctors check for swollen lymph nodes in the neck when someone has a sore throat. This is called lymphadenopathy. The body also uses the spleen as a place to store blood and iron for future use. So learners, now we've learned something about how important our lymphatic system and our spleen are. Don't take them for granted especially if you have a weak body. That is all for now, I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.